Hope you're enjoying the music right now on Gold FM. Only the classic hits, especially if you're spending your time at home or around the office. I certainly hope you're taking it easy and enjoying the music coming your way. Well, I got a whole lot more to keep you moving and to keep you going right up until you uh, reach lock off time. I'm Kara. Join me every weekday from 2 to 7 on the ride, only on Gold FM. Tonight, students escape injury as fire ravages dormitory at QVS. Alleged murderers front court and positive results for road safety campaign. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spade and you're watching FBC News. Management and students of Queen Victoria School in Thailevo are still coming to terms with last night's fire that destroyed one of the school's dormitories. No one was injured in the blaze. However, students of the Rewa House have lost everything. Roland Karoy visited the school today. This is all that's left after a fire ravaged through this dormitory last night. Fortunately, all 44 occupants were at the main school block studying when the fire started at around 9 p.m. Can you just finish their prep? On their way up, they were screaming fire. Are you guys in the classroom? We thought they were playing around, joking. We came out and we saw the dormitory fire. Students and teachers then pitched in trying to put the fire out with buckets of water. But their efforts were in vain as the fire had already engulfed the whole building, destroying everything in it. Did you manage to save anything? Tell, tell us what else you lost there. Wooden case, checklist. Especially for Form 5 this year, our English project. Despite the loss, they're glad no one was injured. No one's been discouraged. We just encourage each other to work harder. FBC News also caught up with one parent who came all the way from Nodo in Tailevu this morning. She could not hold back her emotions. I called him and he told me he lost everything in the fire. He had nothing left. I felt so sorry for him. As soon as I got up this morning, I came to see him. The school's principal could not be reached for a comment as he was in meetings all morning. Police and NFA officers are investigating the cause of the fire. The 44 boarders of this dormitory are glad to be alive. Moving on, however, will be quite a struggle. They've lost everything from personal belongings to a majority of their schoolwork. But they remain adamant that the spirit of Vulini too will push them through. Roland Kuroi, FBC News. One of two men charged in the murder of two youths outside Lambasa last month has pleaded guilty in the Lambasa High Court. Nilesh Chan pleaded guilty to two counts of murder. It is alleged he murdered Abhishek Kumar and Samuel Nand in Thambia last month. The other defendant in the case, Tevita Nduta Voto, pleaded not guilty to one count of murder. Chan will reappear in court on Thursday for mention, while Nduta Voto will be brought before the court early next month. Suicidal behavior among young adults remains a worry for authorities. The common occurrence of suicide by young people has prompted the government to step up its awareness campaign, and high school students are the main target. Rita Kapratap reports. Suicide has been typically viewed as a problem among the middle-aged and elderly. However, there's been an alarming rise in young adults attempting suicides. The reasons behind these suicidal behaviours vary. Relationship difficulties, either in the home or within the, um, with their peers, and family conflicts or family instability, sometimes financial problems as well. So these are the major causes for attempted suicide currently. To deal with this, the government has contacted Empower Pacific, who have qualified counsellors that provide free services to young adults. Attempting suicide is a maladaptive coping skill, so we're trying to go out into the schools and teach um, young adults about healthy coping skills on how to deal with stressful situations at home or within their lives in schools or in, and everywhere else. Though measures are taken to help these young adults, 
parents still play a major role in the lives of their children. I think you need to be um, more aware of what your child is doing, concentrate on their look, um, follow up with their school performances, whether they are attending school and things or not. These are some early warning signs that something is not going right with, your, um, with this young adult. In the lead up to World Suicide Prevention Day, the Health Ministry is working together with NGOs that provide similar services to create awareness in schools. 15 schools in the Central Division will be part of this two-week program. The theme for this year is Stigma, a major barrier in suicide prevention. Ritika Pratap, FBC News. Officials are now visiting villages on a nationwide drive to have all Ithauke registered in the Volani Kawambula Registry of Native Land Owners. This has been prompted by the discovery that nearly 50% of landowners in Fiji are not registered. Epele Tokawasa reports. The non-registration of thousands of Ithauke is a great concern not only for government but for other stakeholders as well. We again realized that uh, most of the Ithauke have not been registered in the Volni Kambula. So the total land owning units that have uh, uh, their lands list, only about 50% of that uh, have their names registered. Apakuki Kurusinga says Itauke should be proud to be registered and have some sense of ownership of their land and their identity. We are proud to be Itauke yeah. of this land. Uh, we are also proud to be registered as one. Uh, say in, uh, in the Fijian Affairs, uh, Ministry of Fijian Affairs scholarship, they would want people registered in the Volley Kampula to be given a scholarship. If they are not registered, they are not given. The registration drive will go to all villages in Fiji and they want it to be completed by the end of the year. The push now is for the Ministry, uh, conjointly with uh, the Ministry involving the Tokyo Lands Trust Board, the Tauke Lands Commission and the Tauke Affairs Board are jointly uh, pushing for, regi for this registration. Eh? Kurusina says it's the duty of the parents and village elders to make sure their children are registered to avoid any problems in the future. Epeli Tukuasa, FBC News. Fiji's wide broadband system and the infrastructure to support it add to Fiji's bid to become the hub of the region. Communications Minister Aisaid Kayum made the comments in light of Fiji's recent ranking amongst the world's most dynamic nations in ICT services by the International Telecommunications Union. Akasita Tale has more. The announcement by the International Telecommunications Union is proof that Fiji has a bright future in connecting its people through mobile and the internet. In the ITU's annual review of the delivery of ICT infrastructure and services, to the populations of more than 150 countries, Fiji was given special recognition. Fiji tied for the third largest improvement of any country, moving up five places to the 88th position. Fiji's high ranking has been attributed to the strong growth in mobile broadband penetration, the extension of 3G coverage, and the development of Fiji's first national broadband. And mobile coverage, is, including 3G, now extends to 95% of the country. But we're not stopping here. Our goal is 100% coverage. Laws are being finalized to facilitate infrastructure sharing between service providers. This means companies will now be able to pay a fee to share another company's pre-existing infrastructure rather than having to buy their own. This will dramatically reduce operating costs for service providers and in turn should lead to better coverage and more choice for Fijians, especially those living in rural communities. This means new players will now be able to enter the market without having to construct their own towers. More competition means better competitive pricing and better services. Akusita Tale, FBC News. The Land Transport Authority says it managed to meet all target areas of its road safety campaign in July, and the authority is planning similar campaigns in the coming months. Despite an incident of a burning bus and a road fatality, the Land Transport Authority believes it made massive progress in its July road safety campaign. We have achieved the, um, uh, the, the purpose of the month, the objective of the month, as, uh, as, as, as we've uh, gone past the month of July, and, uh, and, and uh, lots of learning curve as well. The emphasis of the campaign was on road safety. 
For these, the LTA reached out to more than 30,000 road users in all sections of the community and distributed 10,000 road safety leaflets. For that reason, we also want to put all our activities, to double our activities, to lift up uh, you know, our, our game, uh, to, to, so it becomes you know, outstanding, it becomes obvious, and, and, uh, and, and get everybody involved. So uh, we, we, we all in the same uh, goal of uh, uh, trying uh, to uh, save lives and reduce accidents on our roads. But LTA's ultimate goal is to bring down the number of deaths on our roads. With its aggressive campaign along with the stakeholders last year, it managed to bring down the number of road fatality to 48 for the first time in 30 years. We, we are, uh, Herman, we, we are really positive. We are determined, um, and, you know, again, uh, to uh, break the record this year. The LTA will continue the momentum of its July road safety campaign into this month. Mikolonga, FBC News. In the news ahead, rise in NCD cases. How would you like to spend your morning? You could spend your morning like this. Or you could spend it like this. Tune in to the morning ride every weekday morning from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. right here on Today FM, Today Seed Music. Nisambulo binaka, oya wone kama na lani, oni nandoro mwezi yao, maina ziwa kina ruwe na visinga, maina moni tikina boga rumbu, kena Radio Fiji 1 and Doma Ibiti, bongani vya nyanu. Na maka talengana vya ngona sasi vya ni, na tina kaloko na vya mbongi ni buke lulu. Kena vya mama ni walu, na vya mbongi ni baka rowai, maina mbuza ni walu, ninge na maka. Welcome back, you're watching FBC News. Expect a further increase in non-communicable diseases according to a study to be submitted to Cabinet before it is released publicly. Make a longer reports. Being, uh, the National Advisor on NCDs at the Health Ministry is preparing for the outcome of the study. I expect a rise in NCD as the WHO has predicted. For me, uh, NCD is no longer the issue for the country. It's how we should tackle uh, NCD. The best way to tackle it is to raise and nurture and protect our children in the first 18 years of life. That, to me, is key. The results of the National NCD study is being analyzed by the World Health Organization and the Fiji School of Medicine before it is compiled into a report and submitted to Cabinet for endorsement. NCD is a disease that we face in hospital, but the cause is in the social sector. It's to do with your eating and your drinking and all those sort of things. And unless we tackle the root cause of NCDs, we'll still have a long way to go in the battle against uh, NCDs. While some people are serious about their well-being and are taking steps to improve them, the number of amputations, renal failures and heart attacks keep increasing. Look, we didn't have NCDs in the 1980s. And it has happened now in the 20, 2011, 2013. So there must be something that we need to change to go back to the level in the 1980s. Making the right choices of eating healthy and doing regular exercise is the key to preventing NCDs. And the onus is on everyone to make the right decisions for their families and for themselves. Mikalonga, FBC News. For the first time, all provinces in Fiji will soon hold annual festivals. This is being done in an effort to strengthen cooperation within the Itauke community. Deputy Permanent Secretary for Itao Kei Affairs Colonel Apakuki Kurusinga says a resolution has been endorsed by the government for this annual event. Epele Tokoasa reports. The provincial festival will be a time for people to work together to raise money for development work. The Irewa province has had this and will be followed by Mbua, Kandavu, Ra and others. They aim towards uh uh, financing the uh, provincial council, they are financing the scholarships. Uh, they are giving part uh, allowance to the uh, to the, um, the students who are in tertiary and also in primary schools uh, and secondary schools. Eh? The festival will also be a time to showcase tradition and culture, some of which are fast diminishing. Officials have been urged to use the event to discuss issues affecting members of the province. We agreed that uh, during the provincial festival, yeah, the provincial festival that the whole 14 provinces go to attend that 
festival with, uh, with a view of registering their provincial members into the Wallonie Kamala. It's hope this annual event will foster solidarity and togetherness within the 14 provinces, which will boost development work for the Itoke community. Epeli Tuguasa, FBC News. The Radio Fiji 2 Kirtan Night in Bar last weekend has been hailed a success. FBC Programs Manager Shami Lochin says a large crowd turned up to witness Fiji star Shalene Prasad Pinky and Canadian Kirtan Queen Sonam Bali live on stage. The purpose of the FBC-sponsored program was to provide best Hindi devotional songs to the people of Fiji. Lochin says they were overwhelmed with the support from the public as many of the 7,000 participants danced throughout the show. Sports time now. The BOG is just around the corner. So tell us, Jamie, what is the latest you have for us from the football front? Well, Jackie, with the BOG starting on Saturday, FBC Sports catches up with a very confident Lambasa coach and a never-focused Rewa coach. Also up ahead, a new-look volleyball team for the Pacific Mini Games. Details after the break. Isambula binaka, nadango wa disoni ndalai, na makeo mani wa sininga novarota kina lali nekabi, maina tolu kina bitu, ena moni dingina pa rombuka, ena mbula FM, na bandu ena serre. Suraj ki pahili kiran ke saath din ki shuruat ki jie, subha ka mangal prabhat aapko shib ho. Subha subha ho khushiyo ka mila, na logo ki parva, na dunia ka jamila, panchiyo ka sangeet ho, aur mausam albela, mubarak ho aapko, ye khub surat sabera. हर सोमवार से लेकर शुक्रवार तक सुबह 6 से लेकर 9 बजे तक शामिल रहे रेडियो फिजिटो पर हम सफर में रविंद्र सिंह के साथ वेलकम बैक Fiji Rugby Union Chair Filimoni Wangambava will be briefed by the tribunal which today heard the appeals by Tailevo and Nandrunga Wangambava is expected to be first to receive the findings of the hearing which took place at Rugby House for most of the day will then write to the unions relaying the decisions to them before an official statement is released. Lombasa is confident it will break a 16-year drought by winning the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants two weeks from now. The first step on the road to victory starts at home this weekend when the Bamba Singh Alliance take on Navua. And as Indra Singh reports, the inclusion of star names has added more bite to the traditional giants of Fijian football. <laughs> This statement will surely be music to the ears of the Lambasa fans, at least. Oh, well, we, we, we're going to win. We're going to win this tournament, as every other team, but we are quite confident that we'll, we'll uh, win this tournament. Lamba Singh Alliance have added more metal to its side in the form of experienced players from overseas and here. Peter Boleitonga, Pene Eranil, Korea Kopanga, David Muta, Gariti Dixon and Tania Lawaga have all been included. These boys have played together in their clubs and they've been here quite a few times before and they're fitting in very well. Especially David Muta and uh, Corey, they're fitting in very well with the rest of the boys. Playing the first round at home, the side definitely needs support and is pleading with its fans to come out and back the team. My, my advice to the fans, if they are really truly Lombasa supporters, we camp at the hall at Nawandamu. They can bring along whatever they've got for the boys. They need boots, they need shin pads and other things. Come and ask them and any cash donations would be very much appreciated at this time in venture. It's been a long 16-year wait for the Lions as the last BOG win was way back in 1997. The plus point for the side is that the win came at Subrail Park, so no better way than to start the 2013 campaign at the same venue. Interesting FBC Sports. The Rewa football side will be a force to be dealt with at the Inc. Mobile Battle of the Giants. The Delta Tigers have all players available, and with the coach adamant on improving day by day, the team couldn't be more focused on the job at hand. Shelvin Chan visited the team at training last night. Rewa has remained a football powerhouse despite not winning a tournament in the last two years. The coach believes it's the well-laid plans that will work for them. Uh, my, my aim is to, 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 to build up... Uh, uh, a culture that will uh, will bring excellence uh, into into uh, into the system here in Rewa. And uh, uh, winning is not uh, what uh, I'm always focused on. It's uh, the matter of getting better every day you train. And uh, win will come on its own when uh, everything is uh, perfect. As usual, Rewa will never be Rewa without the Melanesian influence of James Naka, George Louis and Robert Tasso. They are part and parcel of this team and uh, they bring a bit of flavor into my squad. And uh, this is what uh, I'm looking at, uh, to bring a bit of uh, taste into this beauty. 
Rewa is due to play Lotoka in their first game. Last time the two teams met, the Blues were winners. But this time around, Rewa believes things will be different. Uh, those uh, four goals has really motivated us. Uh, that has lifted us uh, uh, to, uh, to move to another level. We know that they won't come uh, that easy. They'll come all out because uh, uh, they want to win and we want to win. And as you know, the, the best team will win. In the Fiji fact, it was tough luck that Sorewa edged out of a semi-final berth. It won't be the same for BOG. Shalvin Chand, FBC Sports. The men's beach, vo beach volleyball team featuring a totally new squad is looking to win the gold medal at the Pacific Mini Games next month. Shalvin Chand has more. A few months ago, Gilu Iliad and Epeli Ratamadada stunned beach volleyball teams in Australia. The coach is hoping to carry the same momentum into the mini games. But uh, we're aiming for goal. But I know the other teams they are preparing very well. There have been rough times for the beach volleyball team, but that's all behind them now. We had a few challenges uh, because of the venues, and, uh, but now everything has been uh, paid up, especially the courts. Uh, it's hard to get to this court. So we're thankful to Fasanok who has really helped us with the preparation especially uh, no, for the, the fees for the coin. The team knows that it won't be easy in Wallace and Futuna as other teams will be going for the top prize as well. We, uh, I believe they'll be uh, no, preparing uh, oh, very hard. And uh, they, uh, I know they are uh, looking forward to play and uh, to be in the final. That's all the teams are going there for, just to win the tournament. Beach volleyball is the only sport that will be played on the island of Futuna during the Pacific Mini Games. Gilu and Epeli have a shot at the gold if they continue to play at their best. Shalvin Chan, FBC Sports. That was your sports for tonight. Good evening. RB Patel Group Limited reports a 7% increase in sales and the payment of a final interim dividend of 10 cents per share later this month. In its financial statement for the year to June 30, 2013, the company says sales increased from $93 million to $100 million. Net profit before tax has increased by 12%. Chairman Padam Lala says the results are extremely pleasing given the local and global economic and financial conditions. He adds the company has performed considerably better, and this is evident in a comparison of the full year's trading results. Fiji Dairy Limited says while it imports all of its powdered milk from Fonterra, New Zealand, none of the products are affected in any way. The company's group marketing director, Nathan Hildebrand, made the comments in light of reports from New Zealand that Fonterra whey protein products were contaminated. Hildebrand says none of the products that Fiji Dairy Supply have been affected in any way. He adds the company is committed to food safety and they work closely with all their suppliers to ensure the best in quality for all of their products. China has banned Fonterra's whey protein products and base powder formula used to manufacture infant formula. <music> And it's time for our weather girl, Jen. Well, Jackie, interesting weather report today. Take a look at the map to see what I mean. It was nice and sunny from Ba to Lombasa this morning and cloudy from Lombasa to Ba this afternoon. What a coincidence. And it's not only today's weather that's interesting. Based on our chart here, it seems that the cold days are back again. Just when we put all our socks and jumpers in the cupboard. Our warmest temperature was 29 in Suva, Ba and Lombasa and our coolest was 26 degrees right here in Savasabu. Everyone's in sync again tomorrow. We'll experience cloudiness throughout the country in the morning and rain throughout the country in the afternoon. A strong wind warning is also in force for the Batumira Passage, northern Vanualevu and northern Lao waters. And what a sight this is! Yodesh Sachin takes us on a trip to the Navua Dam this evening. Thanks, Yodesh. Appreciate the great photography. That's weather. Thanks so much for keeping me company. Like I always say, stay safe and stay smiling. Thanks so much for that, Genevieve. The headlines again. 
44 QVS students escape injury as their dormitory goes up in flames. Alleged murderers front court for the deaths of two friends in Lombasa. And the Land Transport Authority is happy with results from its July road safety campaign. To the poll question now and we ask, should overseas soccer players participate in local tournaments? Visit www.fbc.com.fj to take part. Remember to send us newsworthy pictures and videos. Email citizenseyes at fbc.com.fj. That was your Tuesday night news. Join us again at the same time tomorrow. Good night. की शादी होने वाली है पांच पांच बच्चे होंगे पांच 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 हाय मैं हूँ आपकी सहेली वेनू सुनते रहिए मिर्च एफ मैं हूँ ना नौ से बारह बजे तक